I'm Eric Madison. I am the chair of the Division of Rheumatology here at Mayo Clinic, and it's my pleasure to introduce to our readership of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings a new series, a symposia on regenerative medicine. The Mayo Clinic Proceedings has a long history of useful symposia for topics such as the use of antibiotics and symposia on cardiovascular disease. And with the July 2013 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings, we're delighted to begin a symposium on regenerative medicine. With this symposium, we're able to introduce the topic and the field of regenerative medicine to a wide medical audience. The Mayo Clinic Proceedings has the third largest circulation of any medical journal and the ability of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings to bring to a wide audience this exciting topic is something that I think will be very much appreciated by all of the readership of the Proceedings. We intend to publish one article each month for a series of 15 articles in total that will cover a broad range of topics in regenerative medicine. The articles which will be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings are a first-of-its-kind compendium of current knowledge about regenerative medicine. We are drawing on the expertise of international experts in this field to cover a range of topics that range from innate regeneration, healing from within by Dr. Anversa of the Brigham and Women's Hospital, to material sciences and tissue engineering by Dr. Chrisman of the University of California, San Diego, We'll also cover advances in cardiac regenerative medicine with an article by Dr. Marban from Cedar sinai in Los Angeles, whole organ reconstruction and thoracic regenerative surgery by Dr. Machianeri of the Karolinska University in Stockholm, Sweden, liver renewal by Dr. Deal of Duke University, advances in orthopedic regenerative medicine by Dr. Christopher Evans of Harvard University and Mayo Clinic, We'll have an article then on wound healing by Dr. Longacre of Stanford University, an article on nanomedicine for visual restoration by Dr. Zarbin of the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey, and then we'll cover some of the applications of regenerative medicine and the societal implications with articles on regenerative options at point of care by Dr. Carpa, the Center for Regenerative Therapeutics and Department of Medicine at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, an article on regenerative health care, the societal dimension by Dr. Tronson, who is director of the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, an article on the role of the National Institutes of Health in Regenerative Medicine by Dr. Rao of the NIH Center for Regenerative Medicine, and We'll discuss regenerative rheumatology with an article by Dr. Wyand of Stanford University. We think that this compendium will provide the readership of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings a useful guide to the current status and state of knowledge of regenerative medicine. And I think that this compendium will communicate to our readership the excitement in this developing field. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.